Is it possible to grow the account sales and lower the ACOS at the same time? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy, and that's the question we'll be tackling today. First, here's a little use case study. This is an account that I took over. It was using some PPC automation. Within the first seven days of being able to take over this account, we actually lifted sales 162% per, uh, from 74K to 194K. So we grew the sales. So answer to the first question, can we grow the account while still lowering the ACOS? The answer is yes. On this account, we actually lowered the ACOS by five points in the first seven days while growing at 162%. Now, this is very typical of an account that's run by PBC Automation and hasn't had a pilot come in and look at some strategy. So I'll blow this shot up here. You can see um, the current period versus the comparison period. And a lot of the time, the PBC Automation will be lowering the bids on Thursday and Friday, which you can kind of see here. And we were able to grow that considerably uh, and make up a very big deficit because there's still a lot of people shopping on those days. And sometimes PBC softwares um, are under indexing or under spending on some of those days. So you can see that chart here kind of suggests that. We also were in a high growth uh, ability here to make that work. Um, but in general, what I find is that PBC softwares are really good at lowering costs, um, but they're not very good at growing an account. And so um, we find that it's actually quite easy to grow an account and lower a cost at the same time, especially coming out of a PPC software situation. It is harder to go from good to great as an account or as in a brand. So if you're in that situation where you know, you're a million dollar seller, maybe multi-million dollar seller, and you think things are going well, maybe you're sophisticated, maybe you've taken some courses, you've watched a lot of my content and other people's content, and you're wondering, well, how do I go to the next level? It's, it's generally significantly harder to go from good to great from versus going from scratch to good or from terrible to good. So just keep in mind, it gets harder and harder as you go along and do this. Certain categories are going to have a lot harder time managing ACOS and growth, and they'll generally go up at the same time. Categories like supplements, beauty, those are often very difficult to grow the account and lower the ACOS at the same time. In terms of lowering the ACOS, one of my favorite techniques is to switch the bidding technique to down only. A lot of times we'll get an account for the first time, we'll see it's got up and down. And I used to leave my campaigns on up and down on the bidding type. And uh, it, it sometimes can combine with other strategies. So for example, if you have uh, and, and up and down, which allows it to go up 100%. And then you have like a top of search 30% up. Um, then you're going to stack these at the same time. So the 30% times the 100% will stack on top of each other. And then let's say your normal bid is a dollar. And all of a sudden you've got, you know, $2.30 bids coming out of the wazoo. And they may not be for the best consumers and they may not be high converting keywords. So generally speaking, I really do recommend having uh, down only to be your default bid type. So to make sure your campaigns are using the right bid type, you can go into any campaign, click on campaign settings right here. And then on the right, you're going to see under the dynamic down only drop down in other bidding strategies. This is generally what you're going to want to see on 90% or more of your campaigns. I only use fixed bids when I'm launching a new campaign, and I generally see that the down only doesn't get me enough impressions on some new campaigns. So that's why I use fixed bids on new launched campaigns. Uh, but the down only should be the default. And then only when I wanna go to up and down is when I am in a very aggressive mode and I'm trying to gain lots of traction. So if a brand has a high appetite, you may go to dynamic up and down or if there's a big budget or if you haven't spent all of the money that you want to allocate to PPC strategies, that might be another time when you want to go up and down. But if you want to get lower A costs and you want to grow the account at the same time, down only is pretty much mandatory to accomplish that goal. So I highly recommend doing that. Another thing that you could consider doing, and I do this on my own account, is to have additional rules um, where it's called day parting. And this allows you to have a bid that changes by the hour or by the day. Now, a lot of PPC softwares have this innately inside of their tools, and it's pretty good. Um, 
It's a little difficult to do this manually, which is why PVC software might have a slight advantage on this particular technique. But generally speaking, it's not enough. It's, it's a more of an advanced technique that doesn't have as great of a return as you might suspect. Um, so the general philosophy that I have on this, though, is to bid higher during higher converting periods. For most accounts, most brands, that'll generally be on Sunday during the day and Monday during uh, the morning or early afternoon. And so you'll see we have a higher bid, 25% bump Sunday to 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., we got a 15% bump. And then also during Monday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., I have a 35% bump. This is when people are going back to the office and they notice that there's just a, a sheer volume of needs that they have or they go to the office, they forgot they didn't replenish this, the floss in their car that they like to keep on hand, uh, speaking from personal experience, or other objects that aren't at their desk they wish they, that they were or they need a particular object that they're thinking about while they're on their commute and they get to the desk and they order. So I find that Monday 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is my favorite and best time to convert. Um, this is almost every single category, very few exceptions to this. Um, and then I find Fridays to be just very, very weak. And so what I ended up doing to set up my own day parting was to have, um, I lowered the bids across the entire account by 10%. Then I came in, I set day parting where I had bids go up. So I, I rehired my Friday during 3 to 8 p.m. by 5%, but the rest of my Fridays are going to be technically 5% down from where I was prior to setting up day parting. Um, Tuesday through Thursday, uh, I'll give a slight bump during the day and the, in the evening, but uh, for the most part, not so great any other time. Uh, and then finally closing it out Monday, 5 to 10 p.m. I've got that 25% bump to match Sundays. So those are the dates that I've had a lot of success with. Um, you may want to replicate this yourself. When I first rolled this out, I did get a 32% lift. However, we have been replicating this more and more across accounts, and the lift has not been more than 3 to 5% in the conglomerate. So certain accounts are going to get a bigger lift over others to do day parting. But I did have a pretty good uh, use case story on my beauty products um, and some of the rules that I set up. So if you want to learn more about day parting, go to myamazon.com slash day parting. And we'll, we have a full guide, which you can see here in a bunch of additional videos that you may be interested in. One of the fastest ways to grow sales on an account and to lower the bids or lower the ACoS at the same time is to improve the click-through rate, the CTR. Um, so I'm, this is my favorite example. Um, I actually just bought this item um, this last week. It's an ab roller. Uh, and what they did really well on this main image that made me click and purchase this product, I didn't even read the bullet points. I didn't even look at the secondary images. I saw this on the search page and hit add to cart and just made my purchase immediately. And it's because it had the keyword ab roller right on it. Um, it talked about my feature. I'm trying to get my six pack, right? Like I got a six pack hiding underneath my, my belly fat, right? Uh, underneath my shirt, us versus Amazon. And I also like the fact that they have a picture of a person using the product. So you've got the banana for scale. I knew exactly how to use the product. Um, they show a woman on the packaging. They show a man outside of the packaging using the product. And then they give me a nice close up of the item as well. Generally speaking, when we look at an item in this category, so if I go over to Amazon right now and I type in ab roller and we look at some of these images, predominantly we, and, and notice how they got PVC slot number one right there, which is pretty cool. Um, but predominantly we see the item like this with no packaging on most of these. Some of them have some accessories in the shot. Some of them have a person, but seldomly. Uh, and, and then barely any have packaging. And when they do, they do a terrible job where they don't have a keyword and we can't see what they're doing, right? So some of these are selling well by any stretch, but very few of them have the person using the product and have a keyword. Like this is the only example that hit every single one of the best features of improving click-through rate for a photo. So if you really want to up your game, you will really want to grow sales, you want to lower your ACoS at the same time, spend 10 hours fixing your main image. Run some A-B tests. I use PicFu. 
You can get 50% off PickFu by going to myamazonguy.com slash PickFu, P-I-C-K-F-U, and run your first A-B test uh, for 25 bucks. Uh, highly recommend that, right? Being able to understand how to make that happen. So general best practices, and I've got a bunch of things that my guide at myamazonguy.com slash CTR, and you're definitely going to want to check that out. Um, here's another good one, for cookie baking sheets. On the left, we have a Chinese-based product. You don't really know what it's used for unless you use it before yourself. On the right, you can smell grandma's cookies that you had growing up as a child. And they're labeling it cooking baking sheets with a three-piece set, and they show the cookies. So they have the keyword. They show what the outcome of the item can be, uh, and it's a very good example of how to level it up and things to do. Um, so adding a keyword to the packaging, making sure the colors are right. Uh, there's just a lot to break down in click-through rate and what, you know, some of the things that we like and how, you know, an icon or, or an American flag or showing the product in use can make a really big difference. Um, and so, like, take the Starbucks 96 uh, count boxes. Starbucks doesn't have that text on their actual package, by the way. Um, and so these are just things that you can do to level up. Um, here's a before with cups on the right. Now we can see, oh, there's a hundred pieces. Oh, it's for mouthwash. And I can feel myself using the product myself. I can feel my saliva in my mouth because I know that mouthwash will have alcohol in it generally and burn my mouth. So these are things that I highly recommend doing um, on the images. And you could spend 10 hours on this one tip and it would not necessarily be too much time. MyAmazon.com slash CTR. Check that out. Uh, we also provide main images. If you guys want to get uh, your own main image, go to MyAmazon.com slash IMG, stands for image, and use promo code CTR for 50% off a free uh, main image. Um, normally costs $100. We'll do it for $50. Money back guarantee if you don't like it. Uh, just tell us. We, we won't resist you on a refund. We, we do it as a, a way to be a lead magnet. We don't really make money on this. We want to do such a good job that you come back and hire us for other things. Uh, here's one more example, and then I'll move on. Uh, Happy Me Journal on the left. Why would you buy this? Because it's a yellow journal. On the right, because it's for my kid who's six years old. Oh, and there's monsters inside. Oh, it's a continuation journal, right? Totally different product uh, when you compare the two, and you have way more reasons to click on it. So that's why I really like CTR Hack, upgrading your main image makes a massive difference on your click-through rate, makes a massive difference on bringing down your ACoS because when your click-through rate goes up, your ACoS goes down. Also, when your click-through rate goes up, your conversion goes up, so you actually make more money, you convert more, and, and a lot of other benefits to that. And just to do a quick checklist um, of everything that you need to have done on your main product, you wanna have a title that's got chock full of keywords. Nobody's gonna read that, it's for the robots. The images are for people. Make sure you have easy to read text, understand the features, show the product in use. Like, look at that guy. That guy's ripped as heck. Frick, I want that, right? Like that makes me want to click the product. It makes me, that's that, that shows the ICP, the ideal customer profile. That tells me everything I need to know. We even have a 360 where I can like look at what this is done for. Um, and, and that's very good. I prefer a video over a 360 though, personally. Um, bullet points. Uh, so in here, make sure you have a lot of keywords. Again, most people are not going to read this. Text is for robots. Pictures are for people. Have a brand story. Link to all of your products. Fill in the alt text. They didn't do very good on this. Um, this is not one of my clients. I just bought this product, thought it was fun. Um, so have alt text in here, 100 characters per photo. That'll help rank your product for more keywords, which then brings down your reliance upon PPC, which grows your account and lowers your ACoS at the same time. Uh, and as we scroll down, we can see product and use shots. Uh, and then my favorite thing about A-plus content is this product grid. So if you want to sell multiple items at the same time, then here is your best chance. You can cross-link these products. Uh, you can have features that are shown multiple times, keywords that are embedded multiple times. And then this will increase your average order value, which is super helpful in increasing your sales on the account. Um, another thing I will mention is in the brand story, link to your full catalog, every single product individually, because that creates internal SEO links at Amazon, which will again, bring down your reliance on PPC, increase your growth, lower your ACoS all simultaneously. You also want to make sure you have product videos that, of people who've used your product loaded. You can load these manually from your own buyer account. 
Um, this is not done through Seller Central. You can hit the upload your video icon right there. This is separate from the video section that's loaded in the photo section inside of uh, Seller Central. So these are all general things you wanna do. Make sure you have your brand store up. Make sure you set the meta description of the brand store. Most people overlook this. It does link it and rank it on Google specifically. This is like the most important Google SEO you can do is in your brand store. Uh, we do have a video on how to set up the meta description. Click on that video at the end here uh, and check that one out next. And the last thing that you could do to lower your A costs and increase your sales simultaneously is to hire an agency like my Amazon guy. We're here and we know like you, you on your own account, you, what you see on your account in the course of a year, I see by the hour. I have personal access to 2,600 seller accounts right now. And we run $1.2 billion in sales on Amazon every year. Basically one out of every 200 transactions on Amazon goes through my agency. So if you wanna lower your ACoS and increase your sales simultaneously, you may need to consider hiring an agency such as MAG. And to do that, go to myamazonguy.com slash book and you can book a call, same day appointments available, it's free. We'll ask you some questions about your goals. If we think we can help you, we'll build you a proposal. Now, if you wanna learn more about those services, uh, before you talk to us, you can go to myamazonguy.com slash FS, which stands for full service, FS, full service. And in here, you'll see things like this, where we have a rotation, everything is not set and forget it. You need to optimize things continuously. You don't just stop on SEO. You don't just stop on PPC. You wouldn't set a $10,000 PPC campaign up and never go back and add negations, which by the way is another bonus tip, add negations to bring down your ACoS. Uh, very, very important. I talk about negations all the time. Check out these negation videos as well. Um, so these are all the things that we do from PPC and SEO, design, merchandising, catalog, troubleshooting, your Amazon listing inks included. We, we hack your main image to improve CTR. We give reporting, um, manage the full platform. We can audit everything. We can make Amazon social posts. We can help you with shipment plans and copywriting and all of those things. We even back up your catalog so if something happens, which it always does once a year, um, where Amazon deletes something, uh, we can fix it for you. We're Amazon Ad certified. We're Helium 10 trusted partner. We're PicFu certified. We are the largest independent Amazon agency in the world. Uh, and we're here to serve, and I am the sole owner of the company. So if you have a problem, you can send me an email, steven at myamazonguy.com, um, and I'll be happy to help you, just like a jeff at amazon.com email, but the only difference is, is I am the one that replies to those emails. Jeff does not. So hopefully you found this valuable. We've got negation videos here, meta description store edit videos here, a lot of things for you guys to check out to bring down your ACoS and grow your account simultaneously. But I hope you hire my Amazon guy.